Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you a little introduction to Morphic. Morphic is the default uh, graphical user interface for several small talks, in particular uh, for QIS and Squeak. I'm going to use uh, QIS here because QIS is putting a lot of effort into improve, improving Morphic. So we will keep QIS as a reference for the moment. Morphic is a graphical user interface for small talk, but is something completely different from other user interfaces you have seen in other programming languages. And I'm going to show you why this is true. So let's see an example. Let's open a workspace. Let's open a transcript. Okay. Keep it there. Clear it. Okay. I've prepared a few comments to give here, so you don't need to wait me typing. Okay. So, what you usually do in a programming language like Python or Ruby or something else, which is a uh, rapid development tool, you can just run comments line one after another and see something appear on your screen. For example, here I'm creating a new widget, W1. I do Ctrl D to run the line, Ctrl P to print the output. W1 clash is a widget morphed. Okay, so let's open it into the world that is this blue area, Ctrl D, and you see we have our small little rectangle that could be the main window for our application. Okay, let me ask print the morph position, is this one. I move it a bit to 200, 200, Ctrl D. Okay, I can move it. You see, you create and you move it interactively, as you could do, for example, in uh, Python and TK. Mm. Not in all GUI already is this possible, but it is possible to do in other programming languages. So, let's go on. Extend 5040, so I want to make it a little bit uh, larger, Ctrl D, and let's change the color, for example, to gray. Okay. I can also delete it, so if I go here, run this line, W1 delete, okay, all done, deleted. So I reselect all this stuff and do Ctrl D so that I have back my uh, gray widget. Now I want to add a label to these windows, as this is a, still a classic graphical user interface, labels, buttons, and some kind of images, for example. So let's create the label morph. Ctrl D, Ctrl P, label, it's a label morph. So in this case, instead of opening into the world, I open it into the gray window because this label morph is intended to be inside the gray window. The, the gray window. Okay, Ctrl D, and here it is. We have our super basic graphical user interface. It's just a window with a string inside it. Okay. Well. This is what we always do from uh, the programmer perspective, okay? So we, we give command line and we see things appearing on the screen. But for the user, the life is completely different. The user doesn't know all this command line for sure. The user would do in a completely different way to do the same thing. And it is possible to do it in Morphic and Smalltalk. So look, I will go to do the exact same thing. New morph, I look the morph by name, widget, new widget morph, okay, I put it here, then I center click, I, these are called halos, handle, on the yellow one, change size, okay, I make it large like this, then I want to add a label, for example, so again, uh, I do right click, new morph, this time is called label morph, from, so I go to look for it, label morph, good. Now there is a problem, label morph is independent from 
the, the, the this other orange with get morph okay so I put it here then center click the blue hollow embed into widget morph that's it it's one inside another they are ready so we have done the same exact thing either from a programming perspective or from a user perspective without knowing any comments just clicking here and there okay this is very useful but the two worlds actually are linked they are not separated and let's see how these two world meet i go into this widget which i created as a user and you see here there is a reference to it what we would call in c a pointer if you want so the french copy to clipboard and then i say that widget graphical or user made one to make that nice arrow is I push an underscore key okay control do control D VG1 class that's a wicked morph and look I can do the same thing I was doing before. I can manipulate it as a programmer. So for example, color is color green. Okay, very good. But we can go do also a step farther than this. Because, okay, we can manipulate it from there, uh, from the workspace, we call it here, or from but but the point is how can i know all the things that i can do with this widget object or with the label so there are two things that make this system special that everything is an object and always inspectable so look this you can do those things two things branch allo. you can say for example browse morph class and here is our browser for all the classes so it tells us that look this is a widget morph widget or widget morph these are all messages that are understood by this object so for example color but they are not all here because this is a subclass of movable morph which is a subclass of morph and so on and so on and so on okay so here you have an idea of, of everything you can do with this object but let's forget this way for a, for a while this is an another powerful thing the inspector look inspect morph uh -huh. so you see here we have color oh look there are this nice feature like border width is two border color is that will be a gray so let's see that uh, here to say that i want to send a message to this object that I'm inspecting right now, I say that self uh, border with tab for auto completion tab with I want it to be five. Let's say okay. Then look self border color again. I want it to be for example color red. And look, you see it's really beautiful because you can inspect an object and see all of its characteristics and change them from the inspector this is really beautiful but until here you may think okay i know other systems that more or less let me do something similar for example think of freecad freecad is a program a software for 3d 3d designing and you can draw line planes uh, manifolds you can draw them as a user so with a mouse and uh, key combinations but you can create and or modify them also with uh, python with a python api so you can say okay even in freecad i can do the same thing basically because i can interact with the system as a user or as a programmer seamlessly okay this is true but the point here is that this thing is valid for the whole system not only for what you are building 
and let me convince you. Let's start changing this window that we are using to give comments, okay? So, central click, let's inspect it. I go here, I see border color, for example, and I say, oh, look, that self, check this object, uh, border color, must be green. Whoa, see? Your, your system changed, and you change it very fast and easily. But let's go on, let's change other stuff. Look, look this. I go here, and I say, for example, this is the class browser, okay? This is an important piece of the programming environment. Look, I go here, central click, central click. I go navigate to the submorphs, clicking in central clicks. I arrive here, okay, look. I can say here, just delete this, remove, kill this. Whoa, gone. I go here, central click, central click, central click, central click, uh, central click again, and I pick it up. And that's it. I changed completely an important part of my programming environment. Now I ask you this, could you do this in FreeCAD? No, you couldn't. Because first of all, FreeCAD is made in C++. It uses the cute GUI. So you would need to know, first of all, you need to know Python, C++, the cute graphical user interface, and also you will need to switch off the program, make changes, recompile, and rerun it to see every little change you're going to do. So this is the amazing thing of this system, that is really holistic. You can change whatever you can see, almost whatever you can see, and everything is here, and is here for you to inspect and to improve. So there is no limit, basically, to your creativity. What you can see can be changed. So I hope this is as mind-blowing for you as it is for me, because I never saw something like that before Smalltalk. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Goodbye.